ANSYS Animation Film Festival is a place of creation and work in progress, but also the place to be to meet the audience. Our next screening event is much expected, for it is more exclusive than a world premiere. It's the screening of the work in progress of Mutant Mayhem, the upcoming movie of the teenage mutant Ninja Turtle, Ramsey Naito and Jeff Rowe. Thanks for being with us today. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks Thank for having you. us. Yeah. Thank you. It's so, lovely, lovely, lovely yeah. to be here. Uh, Jeff, you are the director of the film, and Ramsey, you are the producer. I'm the president of Paramount and Nickelodeon Animation. So, in which you are producing the film too? I think uh, Paramount Pictures is producing the film with Point Grey. Um, yeah, actually, you're not the. the, We're not the I'm not the producer. You're not the producer, but yeah, you are. We're the studio. The head of the studio. Yes. She's the producer of the producers. Yeah. She is the <laughs> alpha producer. Um, yes, that's, that might be true. <laughs> <laughs> um, for this, uh, actually, you were in Annecy last year as a, an expert on uh, the MIFA. Yes. Uh, how is it to come back to Annecy but, but with a different role? I mean, I have been coming to Annecy for years. I love Annecy, and I love that this festival just pays homage to animation and creativity, and um, from shorts to ser series on television and also theatrical film. So, and it's it's wonderful wonderful to be back here with TMNT Mutant Mayhem, um, sharing this work in progress. Is it the first time you are in Annecy with a work in progress? Or yes. So this is kind of a new NC for uh, someone who know very well the festival. How do you feel about this? Is it uh, like a first NC for you because of this? I mean, it's the first time that we're bringing a film that is so amazing, but also a work in progress. And given that the festival loves animation and the, and the festival is mostly students that are here to be inspired by by works of art, um, you know, it was, it was showing this film giving in this stage was just a fantastic idea. <laughs> so we'll see in a few minutes. Yeah, we'll find out, yeah. <laughs> what about you, Jeff? Um, how long have you waited for your coming to NC, finally? Years, I've, no, I've never been here. I've known about How it for so possible? long. I, it's, I've, I'm always working. <laughs> I'm too busy making films. Uh, I think we were supposed to come for uh, uh, Mitchell's versus the Machines and then the pandemic happened mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we weren't, but it's, it's a beautiful place. Everyone is so excited. Uh, it seems like it really, really celebrates the art of animation. Um, and it's, uh, I'm so excited to share this movie among my peers. Uh, for both of you, how do you feel um, when you're in a work in progress? So this is an important step to show what you've done to the audience how this moment in uh, ANSYS theater is going to guide or to help the next steps of the filmmaking. Yeah, it's, 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 um, it's vulnerable and scary to sh say like, here, here is the thing, trust me, it'll be better when it's done, but it, it's actually really valuable to know what people laugh at, know what people respond to, you know, there's, there's, not a lot that can be changed, but there's still, uh, uh, I like to work creatively, like changing things up until the end as much as possible, as with as much uh, room as we have to always make the product better. And um, just knowing, knowing how an audience responds to it is gonna be so insightful um, and help us make those final decisions. And I am so proud of this film and so proud of Jeff and everyone working on the film. It is just extraordinary, and maybe one of the best films I've ever worked on in my entire career, <laughs> because, <laughs> no, seriously, he, Jeff always thinks I'm, I'm a little bit of a cornball, but I am, <laughs> um, because I really feel like this film is making a mark. Um, you know, it's, it's adding to the fabric of what animation and cinema should be doing. So this uh, particular film is um, 
let's say, the first step of a long uh, new way for you, a new path uh, on filmmaking? Is it something, I mean, um, is it a milestone in the, the, the rest of what you're going to do? Personally, personally it is. It's, it's you know, but, but I, hope, I hope that this is just the beginning. I hope that uh, this uh, is inspiring to a lot of artists and encourages them to try more things, feel safe experimenting, take big artistic swings. The world needs it. You know, we need as many voices trying as many styles as possible to, to move forward the medium. And um, I hope people, I just hope people find it uh, inspiring. And I hope that this is a step, uh, uh, the beginning of many more uh, exciting things to come. It's not easy to pick up such a franchise because it's been uh, um, it had some a lot of chapters before yours. How do you take up this challenge? For example, uh, you Ramsey, how do you um, take the challenge of uh, giving a new a new horizon to such a, mm -hmm. to such a story? Well, I remember four years ago, maybe it was five years ago at this point, <clears throat> I was sitting in the office of Brian Robbins, who's now the chairman of Paramount, and we were talking about you know, who would be the best person to come in and reimagine um, Turtles, and we both said Seth Rogen, and next thing I knew, he was calling Seth, and lucky for us, Seth was a super fan, and he like literally finished our sentence and kind of told us all about the franchise, which really um, solidified everything. You know, I think that when when you are reimagining a franchise title like Turtles, you want someone to be in the middle of it who loves it, and then Jeff came. Then came Jeff, who um, partnered with Seth and um, really was, became the yin and yang um, recipe for the entire movie. And um, again, Jeff loved the turtles. And I think that um, you know, with that love, they really took on a creator role of this new vision for turtles. So it's, uh, it leads me to think that you and Seth uh, imagined a lot of uh, Easter eggs for this uh, film to tickles uh, yeah, the audience. Yeah, there was, there's a lot of, yeah, it was, but so much of it came from, uh, from the cast, from the, the four actual teenagers uh, playing, playing the turtles, and we recorded them in uh, a unprecedented way, just all at the same time talking over each other, making jokes, and, and they're, actual chemistry and their their connection with each other was so much funnier than a anything we could have written uh, uh, on the page and and the movie really became about capturing them um. speaking of uh, younger ones uh, if you had uh, an advice to give to your younger self before the coming to Annecy before animation and stuff what would you tell yourself I would tell myself there is no wrong way to make art. There is um, there's no right way to draw. There's no uh, 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 don't spend time thinking about where you're not at artistically. Um, just focus on chasing what you what you love and what excites you and. Um, uh, just always be bold um, artistically. What about you, Ramsey? I mean, I think Jeff said it perfectly. And just to add to that, I would say, don't overthink things. Follow your your true your inner voice and grab hold of your vision, and um, you know, trust your intuition, and be inspired, and take risks. Thank you very much Thank for you. Uh, this uh, moment of uh, truth and, uh, and sharing just before the screening of uh, the work in progress here in Nancy. 
we almost can hear the theater trembling and <laughs> waiting for you. <laughs> so I'm going to have to let you go. Thanks a lot for being with me today and uh, have a very nice festival here in, in Nancy. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you for welcoming us. Thank you.